that devil. Every preacher that endorses it is a false prophet. That's right. And every church member that endorses it is a hypocrite. That's and right. I don't care if you here in this building, you're a hypocrite, a Bible carrying hypocrite. Go ahead. Hear that? That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. There are no Christian homosexuals in the world. No. No, no. Not one. That's right. You can't be a homosexual and a Christian. No. Well, when you're Christian, you're supposed to be Christ-like. The Bible says, should a man leave father and mother and he cleave to his wife, wife, not cleave to another man? No, no. God wasn't mixed up when he created Adam and Eve. No. He ain't made Adam and Steve. No. Amen. You blind, ignorant, so-called Christian parents that say your children got a right to choose what they are. Yes. It ain't no child can decide what they are. That's right. God making decisions. Hallelujah. That's right. Go and take God the moment that child is formed in the womb. That's right. God make that child a boy. God make that child a girl. Before I formed thee in the belly. Don't you hear in the first chapter of the book of Jeremiah? And at verse 5. Before I formed thee. I formed thee. In the belly. In the belly. I knew thee. I knew thee. I knew thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you. I knew thee. Hallelujah. God, your mother. Amen. She can take your name and take it off the birth certificate. Oh, yes. And put them or That's put right. they but you right. either male or male female. Or female man or woman that's it that's it that's it every politician and every preacher Hallelujah. that say otherwise including president biden that's right that goes for you too that's right and kamala harris that's right that endorsed this homosexual trash oh yeah and the whole democratic hypocrite amen none of you None of you is a Christian no. that endorses same sex marriages. That's right. Not one. That's right. Not one. Not one. That's right. Hear me good. Amen. I don't care if you're black as the street, white as snow, yellow as butter, or clear as water. Oh, yeah. Any of you preachers or any of you judges, Democrat or Republican or from the Supreme Court. Yeah. That endorse, endorse same-sex marriages, you are nothing but low-down liars. That's right. And you pull pit, Cadillac driving, scared bums. Go ahead. That is too weak because the devil took your spine. Go ahead. To stand up against it. You ought to go to hell, God knows. That's right. Are you listening? Before I formed thee in the belly. God said, before I formed thee in the belly. I knew thee. Before I made you. I knew thee. I already knew you before that, I made you. That's right. I already knew what you were. Before I And if he thee. can tell Jeremiah he knew what he was, hmm. then I'm telling you right now, right tonight, now. God know what you are. That's right. Huh? That's right. I don't matter if you got homosexuals in your family. No. I got homosexuals in mine. Amen. The Bible don't change. No. If I got any parents here and you know you got a son named Sam and you want him to change his name to Samantha, you ain't no Christian. You's a hypocrite. That's a hypocrite. If I got any women here, thank God that's putting lipstick on your son, you're teaching your son blasphemy. Blasphemy. God said, let us make let man. Let us make man. That's it. You parents, stand up. That's right. And stop being scared and say, you accept the children the way they are. No parent that fear God will accept wrong. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Glory to God. Oh, we're going to preach it. God knows. Oh, yes. Oklahoma, if you thought at any time I was any different, in person than I was over the air, that devil made a fool out of you. That's right. Huh? That's right. The only difference is when you get upset watching me over the air, you can turn it off. Right now, I'm live, buddy. Live. You can't turn me off now. That's right. Amen. That's right. 
All right, son, go back to the Revelation and finish up real fast. Back in Revelation chapter 4 and at verse 3. I want to show you that the prophets and the apostles had the same spirit, which differed from the spirit of these men today. Revelation on, chapter 4 and verse 3. All right. And he that sat was to look upon like a he jasper. He said, immediately I was in the spirit and one was on the throne. Mm -hmm. I saw one set on the throne and he that sat was to look upon as a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a and rainbow, there was a rainbow, rainbow about, the throne. about the throne. In sight like unto an in emblem. In sight like unto an emblem. And round about the throne were four and twenty throne, seats. There was twenty-four seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty they elders were clothed in white, white raiment, raiment and, and they, they had, had on their heads, heads crowns of gold. Now twelve plus twelve is twenty-four. That's it. You have twelve tribes of Israel. Jesus came and chose twelve men and made them twelve apostles. That's right. The twenty-four elders around the throne represent Old Testament and New Testament. They represent the 12 tribes of Israel and they represent the 12 men that Jesus made apostles. Right. And they had on their head crowns, crowns of gold, of which meant the prophets and the apostles was anointed by the self same spirit. That's they right. was anointed by the self same spirit because the book says in the book of Peter that the prophets of old had the spirit of Christ and the spirit, and of, the Christ spirit of Christ is the testimony of Jesus. That's right. God have never moved on the apostles that contradict the prophets. No. So whoever your pastor is, and I don't care who he is, <laughs> I don't care if it's your daddy. That's right. Or your son. That's right. Or your uncle. Or your husband. Or your slap happy grandpappy. That's right. If what he preach contradict the apostles at all. Oh yes. Your pastor is a false prophet. That's right. Do you hear me? That's right. Hear me, woman. Your husband is a false prophet. Yeah. Hear me, hear me good. Your grandpappy is a false prophet because he's supposed to have the same spirit, same spirit. that they had. That's right. The same spirit that moved on men to write the book got to get in men today to explain and interpret what's in the book. That's right. God will never get in no man today with no message, with no sermon, not even a prophecy that contradicts that book. That's right. That's right. I don't care how anointed he may appear. Oh, yes. <laughs> Amen. You can't contradict what's written here. Oh, no. 24 elders were anointed. They were all was clothed in, in white, white, white raiment. And they all had on their head crowns, crowns of, of gold. gold. All the prophets and all the apostles was anointed by the self-same spirit of God. That's right. All right, let's go back to where you were in Timothy here. Back in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 16. Read quick. All scripture, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. It's given by the inspiration of God. Now, God inspired men to give up the scriptures for a reason. That's right. Amen. You know, I do architect. And there are certain instruments that architects use. And when it comes time for building, the builder got to use it. Mm -hmm. And the plumb line is one plumb of them. plumb line is one of them. When you get a plumb line, you know, back in the old time, they had the plumb line, you know, that string of chalk and you pop the string. Now they got a laser beam. Mm -hmm. But there's not a wall or a building that you see in the world where a plumb line is not used. That's right. Because the plumb line is the instrument of straightness. And that way there is no wobble in the wall. Or in the building. That's right. Now the plumb line got to be in the churches. In the book, of Amos, the book of Amos. Chapter now. 7. And at verse 7. Glory to God, we're building something good here. Oh, yes. Come on, William. Amos chapter 7 and verse 7. Follow me and hear me. Thus he showed me. Thus he, not they. He. Thus he, God, is one. Showed me. Thus he showed me. And behold, the Lord. And the Lord. Stood upon a wall. Stood upon a wall. Made by a plumb line. He, it was made by a plumb line. With a plumb line in his hand. Wait a minute. He stood on the wall, which means the Lord had the oversight of the people. That's right. Huh? That's right. You see, the Lord is building his church. And the church is the people. Mm -hmm. Them that repented of their sins and baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible called the people lively stones. Lively stones. So whenever one is ready to walk with the word of God and obey the same and repent of their sins and is baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, God take that lively stone and put it in the church and put it in his building. That's right. Listen at this. And behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by a plumb made line. Made by a plumb line. With a plumb line in his with hand. A plumb line in his hand that lets you know the Lord is responsible for keeping everything straight. That's right. Because uh -huh, it's in his hand. That's right. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto me, 
Amos, Amos what Amos, seest thou? What do you see? And I said, a plumb line. A plumb line. Then said the Lord, behold. Behold. I will listen, set. Listen at this. Give chapter and verse. I want everybody, you that are watching and the many that are here. Get this. Amos chapter 7. Now we're at verse 8. Amos. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? What do you see? And I said, a plumb line. Thank God. There I see a plumb line. Then said the Lord. Then said the Lord. Behold. Look, I, I will set a plumb line. I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people in Israel. In the midst of my people Israel. I will not again pass by them anymore. Now, a plumb line is used so a wall or a building can yeah. be straight. That's right. God is setting a plumb line in the midst of people. That's right. Because he wants his people straight. straight. The only thing Thing that will straighten out the crooked is the straight path. That's right. Straight. That's right. And narrow is the way. Is the way. Straight. Straight. Straight and narrow. And narrow is the way. The Bible said is the way. Saint Matthew chapter seven. We'll start at verse thirteen. You better give me Matthew chapter seven and verse thirteen. Enter ye in. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Enter ye in at the at the crooked gate. At the straight gate. Amen. Imagine going into a place of worship mm. and your whole worship is crooked. Crooked. You know that religious setting is backward. That's right. A lot, well, you know, when you're in there and don't know, you're going along with it. That's right. But all of a sudden, when you start having an understanding now and that light start to hit your eyes. <laughs> That's right. You start looking at all religious gathering totally different. Oh, yeah. You no longer go along to get along. You look at things different. Amen. And you wondering, is I'm the only one that see this? That's right. Don't you, you asking your friends, do you see what I see? That's right. And they're like, what you talking about? You ask your mother, mom, don't you see this? Look, honey, I don't see nothing. You ask your husband, look, do you see what I see? I don't see it. Yeah. Until the Lord deal with him and her. Right. And open their eyes. That's it. Hallelujah. That they may see. That's right. They will be blind all their life. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. The one thing I know of truth when you're sincere yeah. and honest oh, yeah. and want to be right. Glory to God of heaven will open your eyes. That's right. And let you see the real thing. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. The Bible says to make all men see. All men. What is the fellowship of the mystery that was hid in God that created everything by Jesus Christ? Enter ye in at the straight gate. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. Uh oh. Wide is the gate. And broad is the way. Broad is the way. That leads to destruction. That leads to hell. That's and what that means. And many there be. How many? Many there be. How many? Many there be. Where are you going? Which go in there at. Because, because, what, what, why they chose that broad way? Because straight is the gate. Oh, straight is the gate. And narrow is the way. Narrow is the way. Which leadeth unto life. How many find that? And few there be that find it. Now, few. you know, when we was little in elementary school and middle school and high school, we all took gym. You that had it. Well, there was some time the gym teacher tried to, cha tried to train you to walk on the balance beam. That's right. When you walk on the ballast beam, it's not like walking on the floor. <laughs> you have to take your time. That's right. Try to balance yourself until you master the balance beam. Yeah. Then you're able to move more freely. That's right. The churches today, God's way, I liken that to the balance beam. Oh, yeah. Because you have to walk very careful. Very careful. You have to let the Lord order your steps. Order your steps. Thank God a good man steps order. is ordered by, by, the the Lord. Lord. by the Lord. And he direct your path. That's right. But when you're walking on the floor of the gym, you can jump around and flip over and shoot the hoop. That's the way you do in the false churches. That's right. Amen. Everything is loose. Oh, yeah. No discipline teaching. You got women for pastors. Amen. You got women for bishops. Right. You got women for elders. That's right. And then these old liars come tell you, God can use a woman like he can use a man. It ain't no Bible tell you that lie. No. And then they go to Joel, the book of Joel, Joel. 
I believe uh, 228, you better read that. Yes. Because I want to put the eight ball in the corner pocket in case I got any Oklahoma women preachers here. That's right. Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. You know, there's a lot of cowboys in Oklahoma. That's right. And, and we, we, we got our rope got right that now. Rope. That's right. Huh? That's right. And I want to lasso. Round them up. I want to lasso. Me a woman preacher. That's you right. know, she she's out there wild and fucking. <laughs> she's out there wild. That's right. She's out there wild oh. and bucking. Amen. And I see that woman preacher screaming. I, I get on my Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, take off. And I I throw Bible. That's right. Throw I throw Bible. Bible on her. That's right. When I throw Bible on her. I tie your hands and tie your feet and tell her now you can't preach no more. Hallelujah. And I want the world to know that she's caught, so I brand her with Bible. <laughs> and she cry out, oh no! Hallelujah. The God of heaven Hallelujah. have never Call a woman and never, preach the gospel. Never, never did. I want you United Pentecostal hypocrites. That's right. And you P-A-W fakers. Yeah. And you church of God in Christ and assemblies of God that's flooded with women preachers. Oh, yes. This is the scripture they use to justify them. Joel chapter 2 and at verse I'm gonna 28. I'm going to show you how dumb the bishops are and they can't even interpret the Bible. That's right. Hear me, hear me preachers, hear me preachers. I know you upset over internet and it doesn't matter. I'm a lasso your lasso. wife. That's right. I'm a lasso your mama. That's right. And I'm a lasso her with Bible. That's right. All right. Joel chapter 2 and at verse 28. What is it? And it shall come to pass afterward. Afterward. That I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your, your daughters, sons and daughters shall, daughters prophesy. shall prophesy. Your old men shall your dream dreams. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the upon servants and, and upon the handmaids in those days. In those days. Will I pour out my spirit. Every woman preaches church. Say this scripture is a foretelling that gives women the permission to preach. Right. Many of you have heard it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. This scripture was fulfilled mm -hmm. in the second chapter of Acts, of Acts when they received the Holy Ghost. That's right. I want all you viewers to get this. That's right. Show this to your mama. Amen. And show this to your pastor's wife That's who right. looked like Jezebel's daughter. That's right. No Hallelujah. cut necks and mini skirts and splits all in your coat, your clothes and red fingernails and red toenails and the earrings and CVS and Walgreen hair. That's right. Fake eyelashes and ankle chains on you and you claim you're a Christian looking like a regular neighborhood whore. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Are you listening? Amen. What is that? Still in Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. What is it, and it shall come to pass afterward. It shall come to pass afterward. That I will pour out my, spirit, pour out upon my flesh, spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. If there's any woman preachers here, I'm putting you in for early retirement. <laughs> That's right. This scripture going to retire you. Oh, yes. If your bishop told you this scripture gave you permission to preach, all bishops of the Church of God in Christ, Assemblies of God, United Pentecostal, PAW, every last one of you are liars. liars. And not one of you can stand behind that stuff with Bible. Not one. That's right. Not one. That's right. Yeah, be good now. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out, will my, pull spirit out my spirit upon all, upon all flesh, flesh. And your sons and your, your daughters, sons and daughters shall, prophesy. shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream your dreams. Your old men shall dream your dreams. Young men shall young see men shall see visions. And also upon the also servants upon and upon the, the handmaids, handmaids in, those days, in those days will I pour out my spirit. Now let's read where this was fulfilled. Go to the second chapter of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 2. Begin at verse 16 because this is when Holy uh, Pentecost fell. That's right. The Bible said in the beginning at verse 1, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were always all with one accord in one place Suddenly came a sound from heaven. As it were rushing, as a rushing mighty wind. wind, and filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them, them cloven tongues. tongues like as fire, and, and set upon each of them. And they were and all, they filled, all with the filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues, the Spirit of God to give utterance. Gave them utterance. Now, here's the people thought they were drunk. For these are not drunken, yeah, suppose. They thought they were drunk because right. the Holy Ghost fell. And the people standing around, they thought they was drunk. That's right. And now the Holy Ghost began to speak through Apostle Peter. That's right. To get everybody straight on what was going on. Acts. Remember, Joel brought the prophecy by the Spirit. 
and now Peter going to open up and explain the fulfillment of the prophecy by the same spirit that was in Joel. Acts chapter 2 and verse 16. Follow me. But this is that. What? This is that. What? This is that. What? This is that. This is that. Which was spoken by the prophet that Joel. That was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass it in the last day, saith God, God they I say will go God. out of my spirit. I will pull out my spirit. Upon all flesh. All flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. No, they're going to preach. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. No, the bishop going to ordain them the bishop. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. No, the bishop going to do like T.D. Jakes, turn the whole church over to his daughter. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. No, the bishop going to be like the bishop of the church of God of Christ, him and his wife is going to preach. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. All churches that got women preachers are liars and fake churches. That's right. They are fake churches. That's right. They are fake churches. Amen. That goes for Oklahoma. If any one of you go to a church where the woman preach, even if it's your wife, oh, yeah. you in a fake church. That's right. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God. And this is plain. This is that. This is that. Which was spoken by the prophet Joel. That Joel told us about. And it shall come to pass in the last and day, the last saith day, God. Say of God. I will pour I will out my pull spirit, out spirit upon all flesh. flesh. And your sons, your sons and your daughters, and your daughters shall, prophesy. shall prophesy. And your, and your, your young, young men shall see men visions. Shall see visions. And your old men and shall your dream old dreams. Old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. I will pour out in those those days my spirit and they shall prophesy they shall preach they shall prophesy they shall be bishops they shall prophesy some of you fake churches say well we don't ordain we don't believe women should be pastors but in pastor Jennings, we don't let them in the pulpit but we let them give their sermon on the floor you can go to hell from the floor like you could <laughs> from the pulpit that's right i don't care what position they are that's right if the bible is right everybody else is wrong that's right come on back to bible amen come on back the Bible! That's right. Go Hallelujah. back to Timothy, son. Back in 2 Timothy chapter Go 3. back to Timothy now. Follow me in your Bible. Back in 2 Timothy 3 and verse 16. All right, let's go back to the foundation of the message. All scripture, All scripture is given, given by inspiration of by God. By the inspiration of God. And it's profitable. Now, you're a prophet when you have the scripture, when you got what? For doctrine. Now, your doctrine got to come from the scripture. That's right. All of your doctrine, all, all of your belief, all of your practice, all of your wish up got to be centered around the scriptures like the planets orbit around the sun. That's right. If you're going to have women deacons, go to the Bible, to the Bible and show me one woman deacon in the Bible. Yeah. If you're going to have uh, junior bishops and junior elders and junior pastors, go to the Bible. That's right. I can't even find a junior liar. <laughs> That's right. You're just a liar. That's right. That's right. If you're going to have so-called praise dancers in the pulpit and turn your pulpit to the Apollo Theater and they ain't doing nothing but dancing to music, go to the Bible. Yes. When I see them dancing in the Bible, they're holy dancing, holy dancing. and they're in the spirit. That's right. That's right. Huh? All scripture. I ain't never seen nobody had to pay money to give a preacher to go see him. No. You don't have to pay no money to come see me. No, no. I kill you free of charge. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Did you not know paying a preacher is a sin? It's a sin. You didn't know that? Amen. If you pay a people a preacher to preach, you sinning. You're sinning. Let's get some Bible here. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Hear me, churches. Hear me, churches. Let your pastor go get a job Hallelujah. and go to work at the neighborhood laundromat. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And if you pay your preacher to preach, Amen. you're sinning. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 18. I want to shake you up, you Oklahoma believers. Oh, yes. You Oklahoma churchgoers. That's right. After this, they're going to leave their church and go to the wilderness <laughs> of Oklahoma. That's right. yeah. Just go to the wilderness. That's right. Eh? Amen. Come on, son. First Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 18. You know I love this thing. I was pretty tired when I got up here, but I yes, feel were. good now. Amen. 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 Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 18. All right. What is my reward then? You see, we're giving you scripture because oh, yeah. the Bible said all scriptures are given by inspiration of God and it's profitable 
for doctrine. For doctrine. See, you, you, your, your doctrine got to come from the scripture so you can profit by it. That's right. That's why I got to go to the scripture for everything, for the profitableness right. and the development of the church, which is the people of God. That's right. If I'm not going to preach what the scriptures, you don't need me up here. No. No. You don't need me up here. Oh, no. Yeah, me good. Yeah, me good. You old pulpit thieves. First Corinthians 9 and verse 18. The preachers don't like this. Oh, I'm no. telling them they got to get a job and go to work. Go get a job and go to work. Go work for Amazon <laughs> or for FedEx. <laughs> hey, Amen. I work. That's I'm right. a working preacher. That's right. Yes, I do. The church don't pay me to preach no gospel at all. No. The church don't pay me a penny oh, no. to preach the gospel. We preach free. That's right. Are you listening? First Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 18. Listen at this. What is my reward then? Listen at this. Give chapter and verse again. I don't want nobody to miss it. First Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 18. All right, William. What is my reward then? Verily that when I preach the gospel. Verily. When I truly, preach the gospel. When I preach the gospel. I may make the gospel of Christ without charge. I may make the gospel of Christ without charge. That I abuse, that I abuse not, not, not my power in the gospel. When a preacher charge you money to preach, he's abusing the whole congregation. That's right. When you see a $5,000 prayer line, a $10,000 prayer line, a $50,000 prayer line, he's abusing you. That's right. He's abusing you. I abuse. He's abusing you. Amen. That's right. You got an abusive preacher. That's right. An abusive pastor. That's right. Don't give that a hypocrite. I don't care if your husband. Don't give him a dime. <laughs> Amen. 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 What is my reward then? What? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. First Corinthians 9 and verse 18. What is my reward then? You see why then? they hate this preaching? No, they hate it. Amen. We do like Jesus. Come turning all the tables over. <laughs> That's right. So we thank God we come along and turn over everybody's religion and everybody believes in saying everything is wrong but God. That's right. Huh? That's right. People get mad. You think you're the only one right. No, I don't. I believe that God is the only one right. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stick to the inspired thing that God brought. That's right. Jesus is not coming back for nobody organization. No. Jesus ain't coming back for no organization. No. He's coming back for the same thing he left here. That's right. He's building one church and he's coming for that one church. That's right. Hear yeah, me good. First Corinthians 9 and verse 18. Come on, William. What is my reward then? What is? My reward my then. My reward then. Verily that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Christ without charge. Imagine me. Hmm. Charging you $50 to come in here. Yeah. Hundred dollars to come here. Right. A thousand dollars to come here. That's right. <laughs> One brother said, I wouldn't go. <laughs> I don't blame you. Stay home. Stay home. Hey Amen. Don't you know you gotta pay money to see these preachers? Yeah. When they come in your town, you gotta pay money to see them. That's right. Pay money to sit next to them. That's you even right. gotta pay a few dollars for prayer. Amen. Imagine a prayer line. That costs twenty five dollars per person. My Lord, you mean to tell me a person need the Lord and you got to pay? I don't want no God where I got to have money to reach him. No, I need God if I ain't got to die. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right, go back to Timothy. Back Everybody, all right tonight? Yeah. Glory to God. What did he say, son? Back in Second don't Timothy. Don't you go to your church tomorrow? <laughs> Amen. Don't you step in your false church ever again? Ever again. Come out of these false churches. That's right. You're being lied to. You're being bamboozled. You're being robbed. Yeah. You're being played with. Oh, yeah. And the preacher don't fear God enough to tell you the truth because he's in love too much with money. That's and right. the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Of all evil. Any time a man can stand in front of you for hours. The Lord just spoke to me and said there's $200,000 in the house. Yeah. Then he act like the Lord is talking to him. Huh? What, what'd you say, Lord? <laughs> That's right. What, what'd you say, Lord? That's right. Then he go off in some tongue. Halala shata. Halababa. Peter Pike and Pick and <laughs> Super califragilistic espialidocious. The Lord told me to tell you, if you give $50,000 more, he'll give you a triple, couple, couple, couple blessing. Who will be the first one? And you got innocent, dumb people. Oh, yeah. Even the homosexuals walking up. 
That's right. Then he act like he's in some spirit. Oh, hallelujah. That's the devil. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Don't give these false prophets a dime. Oh no. If you got to pay to see any preacher, he's a liar. Amen. Amen. Oh, give him a dime. Don't give him a dime. You gotta pay for a miracle, <laughs> my lord. Your miracle costs a hundred dollars. <laughs> That's a miracle ain't worth having. Amen. Amen. Jesus came here free. Oh, yes. He died for us free. Free. He suffered free. That's right. Went on down to the grave and stayed there three days and three nights. No one had to give him a dime to come back. No. He said, I am the resurrection. That's right. That's right. Tell you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. These things out here, you might as well close down these churches. Oh, yeah. Boycott the churches. Yeah. You that are listening, boycott these money stealing churches. That's right. Boycott them. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. These preachers won't change because you won't change. Yeah. You make them rich. Oh, yeah. You buy them his house. You buy them his car. Yeah. You buy them his yacht. God ain't never spoke to no preacher living and said, you got to have a plane. You on a plane, get a job and go to work and buy it yourself. Hallelujah. Wonderful. You Wonderful. blind church goers. Wonderful. You so easily to be calm. Yeah. If I want a plane, let me get a job and go to work. That's right. And buy it myself. I don't want no private jet. No. Not with what I'm preaching. <laughs> no. Devil may get in the one that's flying. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. Are you listening? 